Okay guys, we'll go to the next section, which is transformation of a function. After we learn how to find the image of a point, now it's time for us to uh, find the image of a function. Okay, transformation of a function refers to any change made to the graph of a function that alters its position, shape, size, or orientation. It involves uh, modifying the function equation to produce the new one, uh, whose graph is shift, stretch, compressed, or reflected compared to the original. So in this section, we will uh, try to find the equation of the image of a function, or maybe uh, the question will be reversed, like the image is given and the original is us. To determine the image of a function, of the image fun, uh, the image of a function, we apply a specific transformation to all points. Yeah, so basically, you only have to find the image of all points of the original function, and then you find the new one using the formula that you already learned. But Applying transformation to each point individually can be tedious and time-consuming process. Instead, we can use more efficient method to determine the new equation, the new equation of the function directly by applying transformation rules to the function formula. I already uh, write down the steps to determine the image of a function after it is transformed. First, uh, write down the transformation formula according to the transformation given in the problem. And the second one is express the original coordinates x, y in terms of the new coordinates x prime, y prime using the chart that we already learned in the previous section. Sometimes you may need to use the inverse of transformation matrix for this step. Uh, the third one is substitute the value of x and y into the original function. I will explain these three steps later in the example question. Okay, let's go to the example question. Okay, example one, determine the image of line to x plus 3y equals to 5 after it is translated by four and negative one so first we have to take a look at the transformation in this question it is said that the transformation is translation that means the chart will be like this x prime and then y prime equals to x and y and then you will add it with the uh, translation which is four and negative one okay uh, the difference between uh, the previous section is uh, there is no point given in the question so you will uh, use the x and y and also x prime y prime to find out the image of the line uh, to find the image of the line you have to find the value of x and the value of y in terms of x prime and also y prime that means you have to move this 4 and negative 1 to the left hand side so you will have x prime y prime minus 4 and negative 1 equals to x and y so our target will be always x and y if the image is us yeah so for this one uh, it will be x prime minus 4 and the bottom part will be y prime plus 1 equals to x and y okay in this uh, in this point uh, we already have the value of x which is x prime minus 4 and also we have the value of y which is y prime plus 1 okay so we already have the value of x and y uh, in terms of x prime and y prime now it's time for us to find the image so i will write it down like this i have the original uh, equation which is 2x plus 3y equals to 5 and because it's the original that means the x right here is the original point and the y right here is the original point also and that also means if we want to find the image we have to change we have to uh, change the x into x prime using the uh, corresponding 
uh, transformation. In this case, I can substitute the value of x with the value that we already have before, which is x prime minus 4. So the x can be replaced by x prime minus 4, and then the y can be replaced by y prime plus 1. There you go. And then you only have to simplify it. 2x prime minus 8 plus 3y prime plus 3 equals to 5. And then 2x prime plus 3y prime. Um, this one will be negative 5. You move it to the right hand side. It will be 10. And then we cannot simplify it further. That means this one is the final answer. And as you can see, we have x prime right here and y prime right there. That means we already uh, changed the original one into the image. Yeah, because the x prime and y prime is already there. But um, <coughs> actually, you don't have to write down the x prime. You only have to write the x and y like usual yeah i write the prime right here all the time to show you that uh, the one that we are trying to find is the image not the original yeah so the original is only x the image will be x prime okay so the final answer is this one to x plus 3y equals to 10 that is the image of the line next still the same but this time uh, the transformation is dilation with a scale factor of negative 2 and 5 comma negative 3 as the center because it's dilation that means we have to use the dilation chart which is like this k 0 0 k and then x and y minus a and minus b Okay, let's input of the information. First is the k. k equals to negative 2. That means this one is negative 2 and that one also negative 2. And then the a and b is right here. 5 and negative 3. That means this one is 5. This one is negative 3. This one is 5. And this one is negative 3. Okay, take a look at the question. The question wants you to find the image. That means you have to find the value of x and also the value of y. For this one, we don't have to use the inverse method because it's uh, still um, easy. Yeah, it's not too hard to calculate it directly. So I want you to simplify this one first. I will have x minus five and then y plus three, and then I will multiply it with negative two and also negative two. Yeah, so x prime minus five and then y prime plus three equals to uh, this one will become negative 2x plus 10 and then yeah this times this this times this yeah and then the next will be this one so i will have negative 2y minus 6 okay and then i can separate it like this like x prime minus 5 equals to negative 2x plus 10 and then because we are trying to find the value of x that means i will move the 10 to the right hand side I will have negative 15 equals to negative 2x and then the value of x will be x prime minus 15 over 2 there you go we already have the value of x next is the value of y y prime plus 3 let's use the bottom part equals to negative 2y minus 6 and then we move the 6 you will have y prime plus 9 equals to negative 2y and then uh, y equals to y prime plus 9 over negative 2 okay we already have the value of x and y it's time for us to find the image so i will write down the original the original is y equals to 3x square plus 2x minus 10 so the image will be to replace the value of y and also to replace the x minus 10 okay the y is y prime plus 9 over negative 2 the x is x prime minus 15 over 2 this one also x prime minus 15 over 2 okay let's calculate this let's simplify it 
a little bit uh, y prime plus 9 over negative 2 equals to 3 times okay, when you expand this you will have x prime square minus 15 minus 15 equals to 30 x prime and then plus 225 over 2 square equals to 4 plus you can cross out this one you will have x prime minus 15 and then negative 10 there you go and then you can multiply them all by negative 4 to eliminate the 4 and also negative 2 altogether okay, and then this one will be uh, cross out you have 2 yeah 2 times y prime equals to 2 y prime and then 2 plus 19 equals to 18 equals to 3 times this one can be crossed out so it will give you negative 1 as the result that means negative 3 right there x prime square minus 30 x prime plus 225 minus 4 x prime this one is negative 25 negative 25 times negative 4 equals to plus 100 okay let's simplify it again we will have negative 3 x prime square plus 90 x prime minus 675 if i'm not mistaken uh, and then uh, you will continue 2 y prime equals to negative 3 x prime square and then this one is plus 86 x prime and then the last one is 575 minus 18 so y prime equals to negative 3 over 2 x prime square plus uh, 43 x prime minus uh, 593 over 2 ya yeah. oke okay. I hope that I don't do any mistakes in the calculation but the workings will be just like that oke okay, so the image is this one ya yeah. and then after that maybe you can remove the x prime uh, sorry you can remove the prime oke okay, that is example 2 next is example 3 example 3 example 3 uh, for example 3 you have to find the image of the curve ya yeah? mm, oh no it is given the image so the image is already given and then mm, the question says reflected to the y equals to x continue by the counterclockwise rotation of 90 degree with uh, 0 0 Okay, so the question give us the image. That means if I write it down like this, sorry. If I write down the image, I can give the prime uh, sign. Like the question says y equals to x plus 5 to the power of 3, right? But you can um, assume that the image is y double prime and x double prime because it's already transformed twice that means y double prime and x double prime and why you uh, can uh, give prime in the y and x yeah because it's the image not the original if it is the original you cannot give the prime sign okay next is to write on the chart the chart will be x prime and y prime because the transformation doesn't involve minus a and minus b we can use the composition of transformation that means uh, first is y equals to x y equals to x right here and then the rotation will be right there okay cos 90 negative sine 90 sine 90 and cos 90 for the y equals to x it will be 0 1 1 0 Okay, because the image is given, sorry, this one is x prime or double prime. Because the image is given, not the original, that means the process has to be reversed. You don't have to reverse all of the process, but uh, just think like um, if the original is given and the image is asked, then that means you have to find the value of x and y, right? But if the question is reversed, that means you have to reverse the one that we are trying to find 
usually we, we we are trying to find the x and y but this time because the image is already there that means we have to find the the image the value of x double prime and y double prime instead of x and y yeah so this one will be 0 negative 1 1 and 0 times it with y and x and then x double prime y double prime equals to uh, negative x and so also y now when you split it like this x double prime equals to negative x y double prime equals to y usually you will uh, find out the value of x right x equals to negative x double prime but this time you don't have to because the image is given not us that means uh, until you get the x prime and double prime yeah uh, you are finished for the calculation next is try uh, next is try ah, next is uh, to find the original so the original will be you only have to substitute the value of y double prime y double prime is y equals to the x double prime will be negative sorry, negative x and then plus 5 and then to the power of 3 there we go we cannot go further because this one is already simple enough we cannot calculate anything else besides this and as you can see because the question want us to find the original that means there will be no prime in our um, answer yeah and that also means we already uh, found the original equation okay next last one is question number four determine the image of the curve y equals to x square plus three after it is transformed by the matrix uh, two negative one 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 yeah that means the chart will be like this x prime y prime and then two negative one one and one times it with x and y uh, for this one we cannot use the multiplication of matrix because it will be a little bit hard when you are trying to find the x and y that means we have to use the inverse matrix yeah that means you have to move this matrix to the left hand side first the formula is 1 over determinant determinant will be 2 and then plus 1 equals to 3 so it's 1 over 3 times the adjoint the adjoint is to um, swap the 1 and 2 like this and then give negative to the remaining like this and then times it with x prime and also y prime equals to um, x and y you will have the value of x and y later Sorry. okay and then you will calculate the matrix first like this times this yeah so i will have x prime minus y prime right there and then the next one will be negative x prime and also uh, plus 2y prime equals to x and y and next is to multiply the uh, 1 over 3 so you will have 1 over 3 x prime minus 1 over 3 y prime negative 1 over 3 x prime plus 2 over 3 y prime equals to x and y and then the value of x will be 1 over 3 x prime minus 1 over 3 y prime the value of y will be negative 1 over 3 x prime plus 2 over 3 y prime next is to find the image so i have the original the original is y equals to x square plus 3 and the image the image will be uh, change the y the y will be negative 1 over 3 x prime plus 2 over 3 y prime equals to the x is um, 1 over 3 x prime minus 1 over 3 y prime to the power of 2 and then plus 3 okay uh, for this one you can continue by expanding this but I don't think we can simplify later so just leave it like this okay guys that is the explanation of the next section I hope that you can understand it well if you cannot just ask